a bad dog or maybe even a cat with an attitude, perhaps an elephant with abandonment issues. Maybe all they need is a little music in their lives. Sure, that's it. Our Larry Hummel introduces us to a local animal therapist who uses her heart to enrich their lives. Susan Raymond has been performing for over 20 years. She's played in venues all over the world. Her audiences never applaud, and many of them just fall asleep at her concerts. And that's just the way this music teacher likes it. As I would teach and play, I would notice that all the animals in the house that I was teaching at would lay down and roll over on their backs. That's when Susan decided to devote her life to making music to soothe the savage press inside the savage beast. Either their angst, their anger, their pain level, whatever it is. She started playing in the waiting room of a vet's office, but after recording a couple of CDs and doing some research, her reputation spread around the globe. From China to Australia, she's worked with elephants and wolves and horses at zoos and farms and ranches. It's had heart. We'll try. I just came back from North Carolina working with a tiger that had a golf cart phobia. Today, Susan is working with the big cats at Lions, Tigers, and Bears, an exotic animal rescue facility in Alpine. With gorillas, it's a little bit different. With tigers and lions, it's different. With birds, it's different. And there's different frequencies that we use in order to access them. Her heart enrichment therapy finds a captive audience in the barnyard where the donkey and the miniature horse are in thrall. If you watched them when they came up, the relaxation process for them is the ears. The good vibrations knock the pig out, and the hills are alive with the sound of music. It's a harmonic convergence, a symbiotic frequency, where the harpist finds beauty in the beast, and the beast finds beauty in the heart. For more information on music enrichment therapy, just log on to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the hot button.